Hey YouTube, this is Dr. Daniel Sugai, board certified dermatologist and fellow of the American Academy of Dermatology. Welcome to my channel. Thank you guys for your support. I want to do another addition to the Dr. Sugai Compares series, Anthelios 50 La Roche-Posay sunscreen. The two sunscreen uh, that I'm comparing is the tinted version versus the non-tinted version of the Anthelios 50 uh, formulation. I like this sunscreen a lot. I run with this. It's water resistant. They're both water resistant. They're both mineral based uh, and they have zinc and titanium dioxide. So I'm going to do a comparison video, especially for color wise. You want to see how the tent, the tinted sunscreen looks compared to the non-tinted for someone with skin type three, like myself, meaning that I can burn, but not as readily as skin type one and two, which are more of a fair skin type. I'm a little darker, darker complected, and I also can um, tan. And if you look at my old Hawaii pictures, I can tan pretty well, and to the point where, to the point where I was skin type four when I lived in Hawaii. Now, let's test these bad boys out. I'm gonna do half of my face with one, half of the other. You can kind of guess which one's which. I'll even squirt some out on my back of my hand and show you how they look get coming out of the bottle. All right. Okay, so comparing the two in terms of in terms of ingredients, we have the non-tinted, which I did a review on earlier, and the tinted version. Interestingly, the non-tinted has both zinc and titanium dioxide, both great mineral ingredients, the classic OG ingredients, and the tinted only has titanium dioxide. The tinted, which goes true, which is the same for a lot of tinted sunscreens, is that it has iron oxide. Iron oxide is an additional uh, ingredient, which is nice. It has additional benefits over not having it, like in this non-tinted sunscreen. It will block visible light. And especially what we talk about a lot uh, nowadays is that blue light in the laboratory settings have shown to possibly cause photoaging or hyperpigmentation. So very important for my patients who are struggling with melasma, which is the dark hyperpigmented patches on the sides of your face that come in towards your, the centrally, it's very stubborn, can come on with pregnancy or not, could be hormonal related, it happens in men as well, very stubborn um, condition. But they're saying even now with the devices, our laptops, cell phones, et cetera, it's gonna, that blue screen, it's gonna um, cause a worsening of hyperpigmentation. And so to protect against that, iron oxide in a tinted sunscreen is a nice additional benefit. Uh, I do like that um, this blends in very well and it's gonna, um, and it also is packed with the same antioxidant uh, ingredients we talked about for the non-tinted uh, YouTube video. It has the uh, thermal water, spring water that is very, um, popular in the La Roche-Posay line and as we talked about before Europe is very good about their thermal water their spa towns are very popular um, I've yet to um, do a review on Vichy but Vichy is a, um, a French company that also uses volcanic water in their products to help moisturize their anti-inflammatory properties um, are really nice for bringing down inflammation this here full of antioxidants in their thermal spring water has a lot of selenium which is an antioxidant as well so it has this plus vitamin E or tocopherol and also has that antioxidant complex, the cell ox shield technology um, that we spoke about before. We want to neutralize those free radicals from the sun and ultimately to prevent photo aging from the sun. Okay, so you're paying extra for this, but you're paying for those nice ingredients in this product. And so that's the comparison in terms of the um, the ingredients in terms of price very similar in terms of how it rubs on I'm gonna show you real quick on my face how it looks and um, you can decide which one looks better for you it may look subtle depending on the lighting but um, yeah I, I'd say that they're both solid sunscreens and we'll take a look okay so before I put on the sunscreen this is how I look I'm gonna put half of this side being the tinted this side being non tinted okay Rubbing in the tinted. Skin type three.
you saw the, how it looked on my face. I'm gonna show you how it looks on my hand in real time here. Um, this is the non-tinted sunscreen. Oh, sorry, I gotta shake it first. Comes out liquid, rubs on, supposed to cause a matte finish. Does leave a slight white cast, but blends in well if you keep rubbing it in. Okay. This is the tinted. Also comes out as a liquid. Rubs on nicely there. I have found with this, if you have dry skin, like say you had a chemical peel or um, you're on acne medications and you're having a peel on your face, you're starting to peel a light exfoliation, putting on um, the, the uh, tinted sunscreen, it can pill and collect and clump up with your dry skin and it can look very obvious you're wearing um, a tinted sunscreen. So if you're a man and you're very um, conscious about, you know, if you feel uh, self-conscious about having a tinted sunscreen, uh, you know, this you have to consider that it might clump if you're very dry. I have had that uh, happen to myself. Um, but you know, we're trying to take away the stigma of wearing tinted sunscreen for men. Um, but you know, that, they both rub in very well. You can compare um, when I wore my mask, my face mask after doing half of my face, one uh, tinted, the other one t uh, tinted. Uh, you I took off the mask, the half of the mask, inside, the interior of the mask was uh, tinted. Uh, was with tinted sunscreen. So just, just let you know that after letting it sit, you're wearing a face mask, this uh, tinted sunscreen will uh, leave uh, some, some leftover residue that you can visibly see uh, in your face mask. For your face mask, just clean them regularly so you're not reintroducing bacteria onto your face um, causing mask acne. And thank you so much for supporting that mask acne video, uh, over 13,000 views. So appreciate it guys, that's awesome. All right, so uh, this concludes this video. Dr. Sugai compares tinted versus non-tinted Anthelios 50, one of my favorite sunscreens out there uh, for men and women, and um, I give it both a thumbs up. Thank you for the antioxidants. Thank you for being mineral-based. Thank you for rubbing in well. Even if it's the non-tinted version leaves a slight white cast, better than if you look at my other video on CeraVe, it uh, definitely will beat that. So it is a little extra, a little higher price point, but you're paying for the ingredients, you're paying for the texture of uh, uh, and, and how well it blends into your skin and causes that mattifying, that matte finish. Okay guys, so be safe, be well this summer. Summer's coming to an end, I'm super sad about that, but let's take advantage of it. And um, yeah, maybe I'll do a, a conclusion, maybe I'll do a video just on my favorite sunscreens of 2020 because I'm doing a lot of reviews on different sunscreens. So uh, stay tuned for that. All right. So please like the video. Please share with your friends. Please leave a comment um, on what your thoughts are for these sunscreens. What's your favorite sunscreen um, out of the two? If you, I, I, for my viewers so far, everyone likes the tinted more, um, which I, I, I can totally see why. Uh, and then also please subscribe to the channel. All right. Take care. Thanks for the support. Peace. Yeah.